That is amazing. That really demonstrates the speed of sound perfectly. Exactly. Can you do it again? Three, two, one. Welcome to Van Gogh's Ethereum. The show that likes to take science apart, give it a bit of a poke, and put it all back together again. Put it all back together again. What I want to do is make that bigger, faster, stronger, and a whole load more powerful. Something that requires a shocking disregard for personal safety. I'm aiming to accelerate to almost the speed of light. When I get there, things will seem pretty normal to me. One of the most tantalizing questions we can ever ask. The big question is, why is he doing this? This actually illustrates one of the most fundamental laws of the universe. The more questions you answer, the more you find there is to investigate. And the more questions you pose, and that's the beauty of science. Dallas and his guinea pig supplements the stars. 
is called creatine and it's found in fish and in meat. The second supplement is called baking soda. It's basically bicarbonate of soda and it's the stuff that makes cakes rise. And we're going to see if those supplements make any difference. Okay? And over here, Jim and his evening are powered by just normal food. No supplements at all. They're acting as a control to see if the supplements make a difference. Just Jim's version of the stuff, I guess. Well, I calculated it only takes about three food calories, which should do, to lift the arm from there up to the finish line. So I gave Jim the head of the Jim baby just earlier on, which should do, do it. Because I've calculated it only going to take about a calorie and a half to lift this. <laughs> That's about the jelly baby's hand. And to make it completely fair, then we added a sandbag to Liz as well, just to even up the very small weight difference. Can I just, yes, well, thanks, very small <laughs> weight difference. I'd like to point out that I am deeply disappointed that the sandbag is only the size, not much bigger. We'll leave it at that, shall we? Okay, we're pretty much there, aren't we? Yeah, I think everyone in the audience, though, I want everyone on my side of the audience to be cheering for Jim, his guinea pig, and lifting me to my finish line before this. Okay? Can you cheer for us? Can you cheer for now?
eventually, when you're working really, really hard, and more lactic acid is made than your body can remove, it's basically a signal. It feels painful and signaling your body to stop working out. Baking soda counteracts the acidic effect of the lactic acid. It basically neutralizes it. So it prolongs that period before you get the onset of fatigue. So again, it can give you the edge. However, are you guys feeling all right? Because you both took Yeah, we feel awesome. awesome. We love the awesome when we feel awesome. There is a bit of a side effect, says she, picking up a ball roll, to taking a baking soda. It can actually give you the runs. I'm just saying. You feel, you feel less of awesome. <laughs> and that's why sports people don't take it uh, that often. They can give you that kind of nasty thing. I'm just going to go see if my hands are. Big one to go for me. Thank <laughs> you.